An accident near Rockford's downtown leaves two people clinging to life. It happened around 6.15 tonight near the intersection of Charles and 11th Streets. That's right in front of Swedish American Hospital. Police say a motorcycle and a car were involved in that crash. Two people that were riding on the motorcycle were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Police did not say if they were wearing helmets. Police ask motorists to avoid that area as they investigate. The family of a missing Wisconsin man could be one step closer to answers after a body is discovered in a canine search. Around 8.45 this morning, Rock County Sheriff's deputies sent cadaver dogs to search the Arbor Ridge subdivision in Janesville. Officers found a body nearby in a wooded area near railroad tracks. After an autopsy is completed, authorities believe the body will be identified as Johnny Hood. He went missing last Thursday near the Ice Age Trail. Police say no foul play is suspected. This weekend, recreational pot users will have another place to spend their money in the state line. South Beloit's Sunnyside Dispensary is open for business. The store is on Gardner Street near Highway 75 and I-90. This is Sunnyside's second location locally. Its first is in Rockford near Perryville and Spring Creek. South Beloit projects it will make up to $900,000 in taxes. The dispensary will be open from 9 to 9, seven days a week. Coronavirus cases on the rise once again in Illinois after 1,195 new cases are confirmed today. That includes 24 additional deaths. This brings the state case total to 152,962 with 7,168 lives lost. State health officials say the seven-day statewide positivity rate now increasing. It's at 3% after it had nearly flatlined last month. Testing continues across Illinois with over 32,000 tests processed in the last 24 hours. New COVID-19 research showing a link between high blood sugar and higher risk factors for death. Scientists studying death rates of COVID-19 patients in two Chinese hospitals say patients with abnormally high blood sugar levels are more than twice as likely to die from the coronavirus. Researchers say it's the first time scientists have confirmed that patients with hyperglycemia but not diagnosed with diabetes are at a higher risk of death. Why high blood sugar increases COVID-19 death rates remains unclear, but blood clotting, weakened blood vessels, and an overreaction of the immune system could play a role.